Smoking in the building is illegal. Don't disobey the law, go outside. As always, drink responsible. If someone you know has had too much to drink, be a good friend and don't let them drive. So we're outside here, I'm going into the Leafs game and we're just wondering who a couple of these people are around here, so no idea, I don't know. There's these guys, no idea. People just dancing and those guys, big heads. And back to these guys and we're headed in here to see the, uh, see the world famous Toronto Maple Leafs play. It's a big win tonight. We're inside now. That's the new thing is they've got uh, metal detectors at the door. So after last night's incident, it's kind of nice to know that we've got a little security in here. What's going on in here? Don't say that. Smoking in the building is illegal. Don't disobey the law. Go outside. As always, drink responsible. If someone you know has had too much to drink, be a good friend and don't let them drive. So this is what it looks like outside when the Leafs win a game. Is it often lately? Yeah. Got a nice little streak going. Whoop. All right, so we're standing here outside of the Air Canada Center, what's known as Maple Leaf Square. Yes. Or if you're watching basketball, uh, the Raptors fans gather here as well. Yeah. Uh, they call it Jurassic Park when yeah. the Raptors are here. So in the playoffs for the Leafs, which hasn't been all that often as of late, yeah. they close it all off. Yep. They have a whole bunch of fans here watching the game on the big screen. Yep. But again, it's only been really once yeah. uh, since I've known this area to be cordoned yeah. off for playoffs. So what you're saying is technically, if uh, the Leafs won the cup, this is the spot where people would just go crazy. They would start going crazy here and the parade would go down Young Street. Okay. So you heard it here first. This is where the magic will happen one day. Someday. Yeah. Be popping tonight. Go Leafs, go! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> hey, so Sam and I are at the border now and we're headed over to the US, uh, th over to Buffalo. And you can see Buffalo way back there. Look at this, to all our American friends out there. God bless America. Look at that. So yeah, we're just going shopping. We're gonna have some fun today. Um, yeah, we're not really waiting. I don't think we're gonna wait too long here. There's like a bit of a lineup, but it shouldn't be trouble. And then we'll cross the border and we'll see what's what. Got our passports and our stories straight. Huh. And uh, yeah, here we go. Ocean. And then who's this guy? Don't know much about Harvey Alcangeletti. Uh, George Beers. Dr. George Beers. Dr. George Beers. It looks like he likes lacrosse. Maybe he... <laughs> I'm not going to make a doctor joke. Uh, Dr. James Naismith. I should know that. Who is he? He was... Uh, is that where the term na doctor. naysaying comes no. from? <laughs> he was a doctor that was, uh, I think, served uh, uh, on the front lines. Oh, so it's... He, okay. I think in China, actually. Okay. Yeah. All right. Barbara Underhill and Paul Martini. Wow. Look at that. Look, good form. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us about uh, Barbara Underhill or Paul Martini? No, I cannot. No? I am not familiar with them as Canadians. My Canadian, I guess, needs some brushing up. But you know so much about triple sow cows. I and, just, and Lutzes. And triple Lutzes, yeah. Can you tell me the difference between a Lutz and a Sow Cow? Uh, Marks. Marks. <laughs> okay, so uh, Sam just looked up Dr. Is it James Naismith? Yes. And uh, turns out, <laughs> <laughs> it turns out Dr. Naismith wasn't on the front lines in China. 
<laughs> he started basketball. <laughs> you know, there was something that wasn't sitting right with me. It's early. Didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah. And I got him confused with Dr. Norman Bethune, who was uh, on the front lines the in front China lines as a medic and a, a very important doctor. At least I didn't get him confused with Dr. Uh, uh, not Nace, but see, I almost did it again. Yeah. Banting and insulin. Okay. So, Dr. Naismith invented basketball. Canadian who invented basketball. Okay. So, there you have it. That's uh, history corrected. Uh, we're in Buffalo because there actually are buffalo here. Oh my goodness. They're more, more, look at them. Just look at them. In a natural habitat, surrounded by highways and byways. This is more of a horse than a buffalo. Yeah. If I did a buffalo impersonation, I'd probably get snot everywhere. Yeah, what sound does a buffalo make, by the way? Probably all through its nose. Can you give us just a sample? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it? Something tells need... me they're a little more threatening than that in nature. Now I need a Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> Get this buffalo Kleenex. Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> oh, look at this park. Did you do that on purpose? Did you what? Almost hit him? Yeah, to... to... Oh, okay. <laughs> Chicken wing. Where are we headed, Samuel? We're heading to the world's famous anchor bar. Hey -o. Apparently Obama ordered, uh, sorry, President Obama ordered some wings from here. Check it. It's the home of the original buffalo wing. Nice. This has been a long time coming. Yeah. This has been... We were here like four years ago, five years. It's almost five years. We've been trying to make it here, and we we're finally doing it. So this is a rec this is a special day. So we're excited about it. You're here. here. Hey. So where are we right now? We're at the world famous Anchor Bar. Yeah, and it's pretty awesome. There's so much to look at. Do you want to throw this back in? Or... Okay. Oh, it's changing. There we go. That's for France. 